even uh, the WhatsApp. storm will affect activities over much of the east today. You'll see locally heavy rain and possibly severe thunderstorms in parts of the southeast and developing snow in states farther north. But of most concern may be the ice you'll see in the mid-Atlantic and parts of the northeast. Good morning, I'm Rick Griffin. Welcome to this edition of WeatherScope. We do have live crews on location in Maryland and Massachusetts. First, let's go to the forecast center and get some details on this developing situation. Here's Cheryl Lemke. Thanks, Rick, and good morning. Yes, indeed, another ice storm is setting its sights in the east, but this time it will be the mid-Atlantic that will be most affected. Now, the good news, though, with this storm system is that it won't be the crippling, devastating ice storm that we had to endure last week. But nonetheless, there will be certainly some weather woes today and some very tricky traveling conditions for parts of the mid-Atlantic and eventually the northeast, too, as that storm system heads in that direction. Here's what we have going on this morning, a big dome of Arctic high pressure that's poised over eastern Canada, and it continues to funnel in some very cold air down from Canada. The cold air funneling through the northeast and across the mid-Atlantic. At the same time, though, we have some relatively mild and moist air that's coming up from the Gulf. And with that mild air flowing up and over the very cold air that's trapped at the surface, it's the perfect setup for some ice and snow. Freezing rain has been developing this morning from Greensboro, North Carolina, through the Shenandoah River Valley, around uh, Lynchburg, Danville, Virginia, Roanoke reporting some freezing rain. More freezing rain, too, for Beckley and Bluefield in Lewisburg, West Virginia. And now some of that frozen precipitation, too, working its way across Maryland. Currently, we've had reports of some sleet and snow for Dulles Airfield. And likewise, a wintry potpourri for National Airport and reporting some freezing rain, though, at Hagerstown, Maryland. And eventually, all of this will be sliding towards the northeast later on today. Well, with us today, we have two Weather Channel crews live on location to cover this winter storm. First of all, we have Mike Seidel, who's in Rockville, Maryland, which is just northwest of Washington, D.C. And we also have Kristen Dodd in Worcester, Massachusetts. First of all, we go to Mike in Maryland. Good morning, Mike. What's the latest? And Cheryl, this morning we've had some sleet, and actually uh, about 15 minutes ago we had some of the biggest snowflakes you'll ever see. Just a quick burst, but enough, as you can see here, to kind of whiten up the ground and whiten up the uh, little frozen pond here. We're in Rockville, 
right along I-270. Traffic moving very uh, steadily this morning. And we found out just in the past few minutes that schools, which were supposed to open two hours late here in Montgomery County and in most of the areas around D.C., have now decided not to open at all today, just to be on the safe side. We expect freezing rain at least through the middle part of the afternoon uh, here in northwestern parts of Montgomery County. It will likely change ever sooner, as we often see in the district in south and east, down towards the bay, down towards uh, the uh, St. Mary's County area as the warmer air comes in. But if you're north and west of here watching Frederick, out towards Winchester, Front Royal, those are the areas where we could be dealing with significant ice accumulations on trees and power lines. So power outages later tonight and early tomorrow morning, not out of the question. Again, watch the ramps, the overpasses, uh, the elevated surfaces here in suburbia right on through this afternoon as we start to get heavier precipitation, those will tend to ice up. The highways are in excellent shape because they have been salting them continuously since the precipitation began to fall and that's why traffic is doing okay. Also lesser traffic because I think schools are closed now. Let's uh, update you though on the situation up the coast. This moisture is heading in that direction. Uh, fortunately though, this time around, not an ice storm, but a snowfall. The latest now from Kristen Dodd from Worcester, Mass. Kristen? That's right, Mike. What you're getting now, we do expect to see here in Worcester and central Massachusetts sometime later on tonight. And here in the central portion of the state, we do expect to see not the freezing rain, not the ice, but all snow. Closer over toward the coast, uh, over toward Boston, where we have the moderating ocean waters, temperatures will be a little bit warmer, and so we're going to see a changing situation there. They will start off with snow, then develop sleet and freezing rain, all rain, and perhaps change back to that freezing rain. So it's going to be a big mess all across Massachusetts. And even farther to the west, we do expect even the heavier snow, possibly up to a foot, a foot and a half, in the Berkshires. Now over the past several weeks it has been quite warm here in uh, southern New England. Uh, several weeks ago Boston even hit a high of 61 degrees. That has changed. Temperatures now are in the mid-teens. We're only expecting those highs to be in the mid-twenties. Definitely uh, cold enough here to snow. But you can see what has been happening to all the rain that's been coming down in the area now that the colder temperatures are in place. We have plenty of ice on the roadways still here with some patchy slick spots. Some good news is, though, in the New England area, we do expect to see more of the snow instead of that freezing rain that has been plaguing northern New England over the past several weeks. Back to you, Cheryl. Thanks, Kristen. We appreciate the update. Again, that was Kristen Dodd reporting live from Worcester, Massachusetts. Now, as we take a look at temperature wars, they will play a crucial role in today's weather. As in most respects across the Northeast, temperatures below the freezing mark so certainly cold enough to support ice and snow. The freezing rain, the sleet will be spreading from Virginia, West Virginia and Maryland, even up through Pittsburgh and Philadelphia later on today. And for those of you heading out for lunch around New York City, be prepared for some ice and some snow developing by lunchtime. And eventually we'll see some locally heavy snows too spreading across Massachusetts. Hence, we have winter storm warnings for tonight and Friday for Boston, likewise for Worcester. You can see all the moisture sliding towards the northeast. So again, we'll see the atmosphere moistening up and more of that ice and snow developing as the day wears on. Snows will be the heaviest from the Poconos through the low.